What's up guys welcome back to another video so today we are going to be proving the fundamental theorem of calculus which is the relationship between integration and differentiation so we all know that integration is the inverse operation of differentiation if you get the derivative of some function of x with respect to x and then integrate that function with respect to x you are going to end up with the original function that you started with added with some arbitrary constant c and integration is the op operation that we do to find the area under curves. So if we ha didn't have this relation, we'd have to do complex Riemann sums uh, to find the area under curves. And that requires a lot of computation. So how do we prove this relation? Without further ado, let's jump right into the solution. Consider some arbitrary function of x, f of x. Let's take the function x squared as a concrete example. And now let's pick two points on this graph, P and Q. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the average slope between those two points. So the average points between the two points must equal the, uh, the slope of the line connecting the two points. The slope of the line connecting the points P and Q is equal to the y-coordinate of P minus the y-coordinate of Q divided by the x-coordinate of P minus the x-coordinate of Q. And now we're going to find a relation of average slope between these two points using integration. And now what we're going to do is we're going to integrate the slope of this function between the points p and q and when we do that the result that we get must equal the average height multiplied by the x domain which is x minus x1 so we've already found what the average height uh, average slope between the points p and q are so we are going to substitute that expression into this and now a cancellation happens x minus x1 appears both on the top and the bottom and they cancel out each other and now we're left with y minus y1 and what's y here y is simply f of x and y1 is uh, f of x1 so we're going to replace y and y1 with those now we're going to make a simplify assum simplifying assumption we are going to assume that the uh, integral of the function f of x is uh, the function g of x and when we simplify that even further we are going to get that g of x minus g of x1 is equal to f of x minus f of x1 and now we're going to find the relationship between g of x and f of x well the only way that this is the inequality is going to maintain going to be maintained is when uh, g of x equals f of x plus c because then uh, if plus c and a minus c are going to appear and they're going to get cancelled and the equality is going to be maintained so we found that g of x is equal to f of x plus c what is g of x? g of x is the integral of the function f of x so when we replace that we are going to get that the integral of the function f of x uh, with respect to x is equal to f of x plus c and we are done so if you guys enjoyed my video please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel see you soon